So one of the things we're going to take a look at is a new collar. And I know this is, uh, you know, everybody's seen ID collars, everybody's seen Cobra buckle collars. They're kind of out there, they're sort of they're sort of everywhere. So this is a new spin on that. And basically what we're doing is we're taking Type 8 webbing, which is a load rated, I think it's 6,000 pounds, 6,000 pound load rated webbing. We stitch Velcro all the way around the outside and all the way around the inside of it so that when you weave the buckle on, it actually weaves back underneath. So this whole platform is basically Velcro. So the other thing we're doing is we've gone to, this is a brand new Cobra buckle that just came out um, from Austrian Alpine. And, you know, it's the standard load rated Cobra buckle that you can't, uh, when you click it together, if you hit one ear, it won't come undone. You actually have to hit it from both sides. And the two little keeper pieces are pretty small, so they stay out of the way. And it's hard to hit. You know, I mean, it's hard to make this, this collar release without actually reaching up and grabbing it. So for a quick release collar, pretty slick. And again, low rated piece of equipment. The really neat thing about this, this particular one is it's got a ring built into the whole system. So part of what's stitched in here, this ring is actually incorporated into the Cobra buckle. So this ring is load rated into the Cobra buckle, which means breaking strength from here to here doesn't rely on any of the stitching. It doesn't rely on any of the stitching to be up, you know, as far as the load that goes on the ring itself. So what you've got is you've got a collar that's basically indestructible. Uh, you know, this can't separate from here. So when you look at collars that have rings mounted into the fabric someplace, not that there's anything wrong with that, but this is a substantial upgrade from that. You get a heavy ring, you can clip into this ring with a big bolt snap, not a problem, and it comes on and off easy. It's a really nice, uh, nice, easy to use, easy to use collar. Everything's incorporated in one thing, and it's basically bomb proof. Uh, Cobra buckle is, you know, all stainless steel and aluminum and brass, so there's even nothing that can rust in here. Uh, you know, basically you're talking about marine grade hardware, really slick piece of equipment. Now, this is a prototype piece that we got from the fellows at Austrian Alpine. Uh, and basically, the only difference between this and the production version, which is what I have right here, is this version has some, uh, the, the uh, D-ring is kind of loose and it flops around a little bit, which on a dog I think is not necessarily the best, uh, the best project. The new one, the D-ring, the, the production model like this, the D-ring is really stiff. So, like, you have to grab it and pull it. So, if you want to use it, you can clip into it, no problem. You can make it so you can get to it easy. It's on the dog. You can clip into this ring without a whole lot of trouble. Blam, and you're there. Or if you're not using it, you can fold that ring down against the nylon, and it's going to stay there. And that's what uh, what the handy part of this whole thing is now, is that this, this D-ring has been made stiff enough that it kind of stays where you put it. So you get a lot less rattle out of it. It doesn't jingle. It doesn't make any noise. And it kind of stays where it's left. So that's the... The next generation of the Cobra uh, Cobra Buckle D-Ring Extravaganza here collar that uh, we should be releasing any time now.